indecision doesn't end when you become decisive. Let me say that again. Indecision, the thing that plagues your life, doesn't end when you become decisive. <clears throat> What we're talking about here is the mental activity that leads to indecision. And it's such a good thing to become aware of and become really, really curious about. To start noticing it a lot. Notice it right in your life. Indecision. I should do this here, but I want to do that. I should do this, but I shouldn't really do that. I'm doing this, but I ought to be doing this. Right? This mental activity is going on all the time. Okay. Now, what I said earlier is this indecision doesn't end when you become decisive. What happens is this indecision just continues and you start to see it as mental activity that is of completely no use to you at all. In other words, you start to hear the mind play out the game of debating. And as you watch that, you're withdrawing from it. Because if you can see it, right, there's a gap. It's not you. You're disidentified from it. Okay. And you start to realize this whole thing as it's been framed, this indecision of should I, shouldn't I, good, bad, right, wrong, is how it was set up. It's kind of a trap that you can't ever resolve. Pick this while well, you get criticized by this. Pick this, you get criticized by this. You can't win. You can't win with that. And it's so helpful to realize that you can't win. If you play the game and you entertain it and you start, you start to take that seriously and you focus all your time and attention on that, try to figure it out. So as you withdraw from that, you very naturally step into an intuitive allowing of where you go next. There's no debate about it. It usually is quite obvious. And as you're realizing, you know, from this place, there is no right and wrong decision. There's no thing I should and shouldn't do. There's just what I'm doing. There's just what I'm doing. And as you're in that place, you'll still hear all this going on. This indecisiveness doesn't end when you become decisive. It's just all about seeing it for what it is a trap that there's no escape from when you're in it you go down into this and you start to take this seriously and you start to go up here and you're thinking should i should know what should i do well i did this last week but i should probably do it again no you know it's it's never ending and it leads you nowhere even when it works it doesn't work because you get criticized for not having done the other thing anyway Dropping attachment to the idea that you have to get it right and that there is a right thing to do. That's how you get out of this. And it is such a great thing in life to be decisive, to be free of that mental noise. I have to do it, but I don't want to do it. I have to do it though. Yeah, but I don't want to do it. That just goes on and on and on. And if you start to just see it for what it is, it's like, it's, it's mental noise. It doesn't work. It can't work. It's at war with itself. It's not you at war with yourself. It's at war with itself. It's not you. It's mental noise. That's all it is. It's full of threats. You know, it's full of consequences. It's full of shame and all that stuff, right? 
<laughs> Sounds like great fun, doesn't it? But it just it's just doing what it does. If you can start to withdraw from it and see it as completely useless, completely you start to become disinterested in it really. You get bored of it. When you start to get bored of it, that's when you know this is interesting. I'm really bored of this. It doesn't work. <laughs> How many times do we have to do it before we realize that doesn't work? It doesn't. And it never will. It will never work. It's very it's very egocentric, you know, it's like little me here, I have to figure it all out from my little limited perspective of David. I have to figure it all out. I don't know enough to figure it all out really. This is why there's a much more intuitive system that can come through. It's not about what's good, bad, right or wrong, appropriate, inappropriate. It's much more about things like what's doable. What can I do here? What wants to be done? What wants to be done? It also tends to have a flavor of uh, what do I actually want to do? This is all about fear and consequences and threats. And one of the biggest things you can get for yourself is when you start to realize fear and threatening is not actually a good way to operate. It's actually not very useful. So it's that little have to voice. It's have to mental activity. It's not you. The voice that says, oh, I don't want to do it either is not you. More mental activity. I don't want to, but I should. I'm not ready, but I have to. How are you going to win that? How are you going to beat that? You can't. If you buy into that, you're done. <laughs> it won't work. So what we do, what we do, is we start to get really interested in it. Hmm. Let me just watch this thing here. Okay, that's interesting. Threats, a lot of fear, a lot of shame. When you woke up in the morning, did you tell yourself, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to threaten myself all day long and it's going to be so helpful. I'm going to get so much done because I'm really going to threaten myself severely. Did you, did you decide that? And if you didn't, then why are you taking ownership and responsibility of all the threats that are going on in this mental activity? It's not you. It never was you. And it's never helped you. Ever. That's a big part of the attraction we have to it. We think, or it thinks, because it's the salesman. It thinks that you need to listen to it. Otherwise, you, you, your life is going to fall into chaos. It's not you. And one of the most beautiful things is when you start to come out of that mental activity and you just start to realize there is no good and bad. There's no right and wrong thing to, to do here. It's just, let's just get into the natural flow of life itself. And see where it wants to go. How does life want to express itself through, through this? No threats there. No shame. So my invitation in this video is to realize that when you become decisive, this doesn't have to end. You can still have that there. It's just that you're withdrawing your attention and interest in it. You're not taking it really seriously anymore. It's allowed to do that. It can be conditioned, right? It can still be there. 
So we learn to withdraw from it, and we learn to when all re, that's really it. That's all you just have to recognize it as kind of not you. And very naturally, then the thing is, you don't have to come up with a new operating system or a new way to live. The new way is the old way, the really old way, the way before all this stuff came in and was conditioned into us. This comes back in very naturally. And this is just flowing. This wants to live. Okay? And you will find that automatically when you start to disengage from this. Right? It's not you. It's not mysterious what I'm talking about. This is not mysterious. This is the simplest thing. It's like you make, you're make you making decisions and there, there's no drama. There's no drama. I think I'll do that. I'd like to do that now. And it's just done. I'm open to that. You do it. There's also those intent to be these really poor boundaries we find down here because we're afraid of everything. Right? It's like, you know, I'll do it and that's that finished. And uh, now I'll rest for a while. And we'll see where we go. What else wants to uh, come through? There's no guilt. There's no threatening. There's no big song and dance about it either. There's no real need to congratulate ourselves and give ourselves a gold star, you know. It's like, it's natural. It's the most natural thing there is. Every, every child is born with that natural curiosity and a will to live, to get on with their life. So guys, what do you think of this? What do you think of this? Can you, can you um, recognize any of this within your own mind? And if so, tell me if it's been useful or if you believe that it's helpful. As I mentioned, there, there is a big part of us that believes it's helpful. Or maybe you have learned that disengaging with it and not taking it seriously and stepping into want to, choose to, have to, allowing what's doable, what's easy, has been a better operating system for you to live your life from. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching this. And I will see you again very soon.